So my name is Robert Stelic and I'm the owner of Blue Planet. We recently took over this shop here in Haliva, the Tropical Rush store, and we're in the process of turning it into a Blue Planet store. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the rich history of the, this location in Haliva. So the Tropical Rush store was here for almost 30 years and when I first started Blue Planet around the same time as when they opened, uh, they became one of our first customers and they sold a lot of Blue Planet clothing here. The owners became friends and I was always joking with them because I love the location that if they ever want to retire, let me know and we would take it over. So this year they called me, they were ready to retire and we ended up taking over the shop in August of this year. So Haliva is a super special place to me and it's obviously the capital of surfing. The Seven Mile Miracle is right here from Haliva almost to Turtle Bay with some of the best surf spots in the world right here. We're right next to the Rainbow Bridge right here in Haleiwa and this bridge was built around 1920, around the same time as our store was originally built. So originally this area was settled by Hawaiians, around 5,000 Hawaiians lived in this area. They were mostly farmers, you know, taro farming and so on. Frank Dillingham built a railroad around the island going around Kaina Point from Honolulu all the way to Haleiwa. He decided to build a hotel at the end of the train so more people would take the train out and come to the North Shore. And so they built the Haleiwa Hotel, which was like a fancy hotel, everything first class, very nice inside but it was built out of wood. As we all know, the termites basically took over pretty quickly. And, and I think that's why most people don't even know about this hotel. It was opened in 1899, actually a year before the Royal Hawaiian Hotel opened in Waikiki. So it was actually the first major hotel on Oahu. They called this area Haleiwa after the Haleiwa Hotel, basically. More buildings were built, some stores opened, people built little vacation or weekend homes out here. This location right here became the uh, general store, it became the Lantaka general store. So they had shave ice and groceries and things like that right here. Uh, opened in 1920, I believe. And uh, the, the Rainbow Bridge right behind me just turned 100 years old. Um, it was built in 1921. There would be boats parked along the sides of the river here. So this was kind of the harbor area. And we actually still have a, an old metal winch right here that's from those days. And they used it to pull the boats out of the water and work on the engines and so on. There used to be a movie theater here too, the Haliva Theater. That was torn down to make room for a McDonald's. So after that, a lot of people were upset about that, you know, that the historic um, character of the town was being changed. So they made rules about not being able to basically change the look of the town, like can't just change the buildings and the, and the kind of the plantation style of the town. They're trying to keep it kind of looking the way it used to. So yeah, so that's kind of a short history of the, this town and hope you can come and check it out. And we got this beautiful spot right here on the river. You can paddle up the river. Um, it's also beautiful just uh, paddling through the mangroves here and there's sea turtles in the water. It's just a beautiful experience or you can paddle out into the ocean as well. So thanks for watching. Aloha.